And uh, koi eh pole bwana nimechelewa lakini It's all right. Better late than never, yes. isn't it? Eh hey, <laughs> how are you? Been? I'm very well, thank you. I was just looking at this uh, thing. It yeah. looks like a hockey stick, mm-hmm. but this is definitely not a hockey ball. No, no, yeah. not a hockey stick or a hockey ball. It is actually floorball. Yeah. Quite an interesting sport actually. We had a team that was here a few weeks back. They showed us a bit about the sport and they actually put me up on a challenge, oh. which I thought I did pretty well by the way. I'll I'll show you that clip later okay. on. And speaking of challenges, last week you made me do something, so this week I have to put you on the spot. Okay. Yeah? Um, I think I'm always up to a challenge. Uh, so was so. Yeah, <laughs> Let's I'm take looking a look. forward to it. A very warm welcome to you. It's Thursday. That means it's time for your weekly fix of sports action. Welcome to Sports Central. And I hope you have everything that you need so that you can kick it with us and of course enjoy an amazing show. So much coming your way. I'm your host Mike Mondo. And my name is Koi Kabala. What an amazing show we have in store for you today. Yes, we get to kick it with the Kariobangi Sharks and they'll let us know about their first experience in the Sport Pesa Premier League. Absolutely. We also get to meet Helen Obiri. She is this year's IWF World Champion 5000 meter gold medalist. Of course, that took place in London. And right after that, we've got Francis Tairu, our man of the moment. The Kawangware United player will let us know about his role on the team and, of course, how it felt to win the Sport Pesa Super 8 Premier League. But before we get on to all of that, let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming up first. By the way, Koi, yes. um, uh, a lot of us sometimes we go to the stadiums mm. and uh, check out the Sport Pesa Premier League and we see teams like Sofa Parker playing, FC Leopards playing, Gorma here playing, but we never really know how they qualified to get uh, to that level. Absolutely, and obviously just below the Sport Pesa Premier League mm-hmm. is the National Super League and it takes a lot to go from one to the other. Yes. In fact, one such team that managed to get promoted from the National League to the Premier League last year was the Cario Bangi Sharks and obviously they are proving they have what it takes to go all the way to the top. Sports Central managed to sort of crash in on one of their training sessions. Let's take a look at what happened. Karibangi Sharks ilianza pale Karibangi North na ilianzishwa na Nick the president wa FKF alikuwa compassionate sana na ball then alipata kuna vijana wengi sana mtaa walikuwa wanacheza tu ball but hawana mtu anawa lead ali come up na idea ku bring up vijana karibu pamoja wenye kuna talanta juu pia kuna passion ya ball wale walikuwa wakubwa mbele yetu wakakuwa wanapandisha tu league pole pole kuingia Premier League kwanza ilikuwa tough kabisa kama tulipoanza mechi nne zikifuatana Gormaya Moroni Ulinzi na Posta but uh, vijana wali, walijichukua vyema na tukaanza kupata pointi tukaanza kushinda mechi na kidogo pia uzoefu ukaanza kuingia Tukikamin tulijua si rahisi si rahisi kama huko chini ama mali pengine jua huko tunapata watu wako na more experience kwa tu mkisha kwa hapo kwa ligi for long kaskuma mpaka dakika ya mwisho hata ndo tupande premier league tulipanda kama namba 2 but ilikuwa ni run noma sana jo namba 3 ilikuwa ni zoo na walikuwa nakimbizana sisi hadi hiyo time ya last hiyo game ya last tukienda nzoia ilikuwa ndio kuamua jo pia walikuwa wanacheza huko kwao national super league sio ligi rahisi kwa maana lengo ni moja juu unapata kwa zile timu mko hapo timu 20 lengo huwa ni kupanda Kenya Premier League ama kupanda ligi kuu. So unapata kila mechi ni kama finali. Na unapopoteza pointi hata moja inakurudisha nyuma zaidi. Na pia psychologically inakuwa na effect kidogo kwa wachezaji. Unajua Premier League unaweza kuwa mko timu 18 but unajua of course mkoa na mkondo wa kwanza labda matokeo yajakuwa mema mkondo wa pili pia utajisukuma ukaweza pata kitu ambacho utamaliza nafasi nzuri but national super league kila game ni kama finali so sio ligi rahisi hata kwa wale wanacheza pale wanajaribu zaidi kitu ya kwanza ambayo ni motivation ni wao wenyewe kuwa pamoja na kujua tumekuwa hapo kwa muda hatujakuwa na nafasi ya kwenda kwa timu zingine so 
inaweza kuwa furaha kwetu tukiweza panda kama team vile tulianza tukiwa watoto maybe na tucheze Premier League aswa tukiwa pamoja hii ndio imekuwa motivation kuu Kenya na feel tumeweka kwa meza tukue competitive ni way of play your way of play yetu ni passing game tukitaka tunaiweka chini kwa nyasi mpaka tufike pale mbele hakuna kuiweka juju ya sinu wa young then second thing pia ni age difference watu ni wa young sana so inatusaidia sana kwa the pace of the game tukona speed na energy tukona kuruka kitu cha maana cha kujivunia kwa mkufunzi wa Karobangi Sharks ni matokeo mema hiyo ni kwa ligi kwanza then uh, tumekuwa na cup competition mwaka uliopita tulijaribu Go TV tukafika semi final tukabanduliwa nje na ulinzi but tukamaliza watatu mwaka huu Mungu ametujalia pia tumecheza vyema tumekuwa tuko final ikiwa ni mwaka wa kwanza kwa Premier League mmeibuka washindi na mmepata pia nafasi ya kucheza uh, maybe zile cup continental Lesson to Milan ni ati kila team iko hapo iko ina deserve kuwa hapo. Ya who's the one? Jo kama sisi ni mwaka wetu wa kwanza na tuko top 5. Secondly ni ati unafaa kuheshimu anyone. Anyone mwenye yako hapo kwa league wako na first wako na experience. Kuna team mobs zimekuwa tu hapo kama wakina Chemelil. So ni wamekuwa tu hapo ever. So ni first ujue venye utawa handle kwa kiwanja na hiyo experience yao. Hiyo tu kwa handle kwa game inakuwa ni ni funzo first so ukipata ukipata timu nyingine tena na play hivyo haitakuwa ita tatizo kwako hapo nje ma fans wa support ball hii ball ni kitu poa inaweka wasiku pamoja so kama tunaweza supportiana kwanza kama wa Kenya tuache tu ku, kuongelea na vibaya tu supportiane ni kwanza ndio tuende hapo kwingine nje tutainua ball ya Kenya sana Welcome back and just in case you are joining us you're watching Sport Central this is the show that guarantees your weekly fix of sports action It's a classic battle between experience and hard work but I think the Garibangi Sharks are giving the big boys the so-called big boys in the league a run for their money and we're really happy for the Sharks that they they're more or less not facing the same uncertainty that uh, Zukiri to and Nakumat FC are going through not knowing their actual position in the league Yeah it was pretty a sad state of affairs you know i mean one minute nakumat and zoo were not on the, the league yeah. next minute they're back on the league so i just hope next season that uncertainty won't be there anymore yeah. and you know next season you know, just like arsenal you know <laughs> maybe we'll win always maybe Who we'll knows? win next season <laughs> <laughs> well of course let's move on to some athletics with focus right now as we get to sit down with helen obiri she is the middle distance runner who won the 5000 meter gold in the iaaf championships in london what I can tell upcoming athletes it has to stay focused because there's nothing comes easy my name is Helen Obiri 5000 meters runner world champion olympic silver medal in 2016 and the world champion 2017 i started to run when i was small like back 2001 when i was in primary school back in home in kisiland kisi county when i started to run In my family there was no nobody running there but my father used to encourage me to run but I didn't know which distance I can run somebody told me that just try to run long distance because long distance in Kenya you can go far In Olympic 2016 I was not well prepared because I was coming from maternity leave 2015 so I was like doing 1500 meters so I decided to do trials 5000 because i was not used in 5000 i had no experience so i was going there in olympics to target position 3 but all of a sudden i get a silver so i was still thankful because it was my first medal in olympics as a family and as a husband i think i'm the best guy to be the manager to helen because i'm always in time have time with her i know her so i understand whatever the the weakness she has i know how to correct it and the strength how to make it perfect 
When you want to do something, you can just plan with your coach, with your manager to see how you can do in World Championships. So I started my season indoors. I did very well. So I just kept on doing something good. So because we are targeting to get something in World Championships, because I got in silver in the Olympics, so I was targeting to get a gold at least. So I was been doing well. I was focusing to get a gold. So I was being trained for that one. She is so much determined. Whatever the program she has, she must do it. I think when I wake up to go for my training, I go targeting for something. If, for example, if it's a program, she follows the letter. If they are doing like 400 meters, she has to complete it. She doesn't have a shortcut. At World Championship, it was my best moment ever because, as you can see, it's my first ever goal in World Championships because I don't have any goal. So when I get there, I was just a bit worried because Ayana was there. And everybody knew Ayana is very strong. And even Kenyans knew Ayana is very strong. So I had pressure from Kenyans people because I was the only athlete who I think capable of getting gold. So I was just like, if I don't get this one, how can people of Kenya feel? So I had to do something, I had to dig big because I knew I had a good experience than Ayana. So I decided to go ahead of Ayana. So I knew when I go in front, you cannot catch me at all. I think what I can do now is forget about 2017 season and I tried to do extra hard in 2018 season. I moved for World Indoors back in, in March and from there I want to sit down with my coach, my manager to focus and we can see if we can attend to World Record in May. There's only a handful of women in history who have gone as quick as that. Obiri there I think has just become the fifth fastest in history. What I know is that she makes Kenya feel proud. Yeah, like now everyone knows Kenya is all about sports, uh, athletics, and that's not only necessarily only Helen Obiri, but men, men athletes. Yeah, so they make Kenya big now. I'm targeting to even a marathon, but for now, my dream is to break the world record 5,000. From there, maybe I can shift to 10,000. Going on behind, so they come into the straight now, and Obiri kicks out of the bend, and Mira needs to stay with the Kenya. The recently concluded season of the Sport Pesa Super 8 Premier League definitely had its fair share of surprises. But this time, it was the western side of Nairobi that came out smiling as Dagoretti based Kalangwara United were crowned the league champions. And one man who played a talismanic role for that team and of course scored some really crucial goals is Francis Thairo. And apart from scoring those goals, he also played a big role in coaching duty. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Francis Thairo from Kawangware United. Miko Mazira na ito Francis Dairu. Ndianza bol ni kiwa mtoi. Kwanzi ya mea kama saba hivi. Mbaka sa hii balo na iteza. Suri yangu ya bol ni dianza. Hile shule ni kuwa karibu na ayo. Ndi ni kuwa karibu na igrao yetu. Igrao ya liruta stadium. Saa hapo wale wale kuwa na tezaga. Ndiwa itupatia ya morali. I mean, I could tell you what I'm doing. Baka time say in a teza. Because I'm going to go out to end the premier. Premier got to the mayor to finance to Kashuka. We don't do the Uku. Kunam Zunguarika Mawaldo. I got to go to Team Zima to end the world. Because it's a national aid. Karudi Premier. Toka hiyo time ya Premier mini meche za Gawaldo mbaka 2013. Ndiyo Gawaldo kidogo yika enda yika kuwa City Stars. Ndiyo mini katoka hugo 2013.
Miko tuka ongole United, bado ni kicheza. Tushabe banao, kapi ya Dago, ya Extreme. Saha bado hii mwaka, tushaku wa machampion. Mwasa idea na mina fula hii ya juu ni mendu wa bado vijana. Kitu ina ni motivate kwanza, ni hawa vijana wangu. Hawa vijana, nisipo yaani, nisipo work. Mindi wana watrain, mindi nisipo waonesha. Itakuwa ngumu sana. Jumi ni kwa nao grao, na nikiwa grao miu ambia misi kutu. Sayo mindi mchezaji kaa njini. La season tuilimaliza number nine, tukacheza hiyo champions. This season, I took a break. We chose a tour now. We go to December, January. We took a tour to go. I have to go and get a visa now. Do go, Sana. This is the end. I see. We have to get a number of top scorer. Jumi, Jiangu, now visa now. We chose now. We are going to do it. We are going to go. We are going to pick up a ball. We are going to go. 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 Ni sababu, mi hata sayi ni kaa na hata. Na pia lazima ya ungu walo nita fute mtu wata, hata vaizo vya tuza kupiga mabao. Kwa hii trofi ni motisha kwa wangu juu. Tumerudisha timi vi juzi juzi. Sayi na vikombe kama mbili, na kikombe ya Dago, na ina kikombe ya Nairobi Champion. Hiyo ndiyo motisha yaani, Hata vijana mta, hata vijana wadogo. Mina juu hii itawainua. Juu pia bolda aguiri kwa imeenda down. Hiyo cup itainua hata akina melta, akina naisa. Itawainua sana hafu hizi timbado ziko chini za dago. Itawainua sana. Kod pesa. Nasema hii mekamu kuinua vijana wa mta. Jusi tu kuteza, hakukua na kitu kama hiyo Narobi Premier League Atibado kuna, kuna ligia ya Narobi hivi Anafu mpangiriwe yake Enyewe yiko juu Uwezi linganisha na ligi tumeteza haka Uliku unenda haka ujuu unenda kufanya nini Lakini sport pesa, kuna kitu unashindania Kuna kitu wanawape muisho Yani, ni big up sana It's officially a wrap. We've come to the end of the show. But remember, it's all about you and what you want to see on the show. So make sure you hit us up on all our social media pages and tell us what you would like to see. Yes, and lakini kabla tuondoke, me I need, I said I'm going to give you a challenge. I think it's time that we do that before we say kwa heri. So it's going to be very simple. Don't even panic about it. Don't fret. I, I, I have everything sorted out. This should be quite fun. We used to do this when we were younger. Yeah, and, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to label it. I think I'll call it pick the ball, right? All I want you to do is pick the balls. But there's a twist, right? <clears throat> the twist being that you have to do this in a very special way, blindfolded. Why blindfolded? Why, <laughs> why blindfolded? Well, because blindfolded that's what, and in heels. That's what, bending that's down on what the floor. makes it fun. That's what makes it fun. If you can pick up all oh, three joy. balls and you can just go ahead, memorize where they are, memorize how everything looks. And then Is this like hazing it, or like when someone joins the show? I, uh, maybe, maybe. We can call it that. So go ahead, come on, let's, let's see if we can do this. If you can pick up all three of them, I've got a thousand Crap. shillings for each and every single ball Thank that you. you pick up. Wait, just hold on first before you start. Okay, are you good to go? Have you oh. moved the balls? No, I've not moved the balls. You've moved the balls? <laughs> not yet. you moved the balls? They're still there. Trust me. Okay. Go ahead. You're getting cold. There was like a ball somewhere here. Right? Somewhere there. <laughs> Damn it. And another one. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh God, it was somewhere here. You're almost there. You're, almost, you're getting warmer. You're getting warmer. Yeah, you know, you, you can Just do this. Just touch it with you my foot first. Am I still within that shield? Yeah, you, you're almost there. You're getting warmer. You're getting much warmer. I don't believe you. So close. You can, you can do it. 
You can give up any time. Oh, I give up. You give up? Ah, okay then. Let's get your blindfold out and then... See, you don't eat. <laughs> I knew, I knew you moved the ball. Yes, I, knew I had to, I had to. But yo, thanks for playing my challenge though. I mean, I wasn't going to give Do you I get to do a challenge? Uh, yeah, if, of course you do. Let's see if you can beat me at that my one. Challenge. <laughs> well, before we say Kwaheri, we're going to leave you with our internet find of the week. I love Kumbuka. As Koi said earlier, don't forget to hit us up. And yeah. until next time, keep, keep it, it Sports Central. Central.